Wrestling returns to Greater Dallas Saturday, May 18th as the NWA presents the prestigious Rocket Cup Tag Team Tournament. Jaw-dropping moments, high-flying action, and historic tag team excellence. Prepare to witness the epitome of world-class wrestling. Visit NWALiveEvents.com for tickets today. NationalWrestlingAlliance.com 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 Ooh, it's pretty. Boyo Del Mar here for the new NWA official wrestling magazine online exclusively at NationalWrestlingAlliance.com Read about all the stars of the National Wrestling Alliance now at NationalWrestlingAlliance.com Scroll to the top and click magazine See the stars of NWA Power live and in person Friday, April 12th and Saturday, April 13th as the NWA takes over WEDU Studios in Tampa once again Get your tickets today at NWALiveEvents.com for over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can have your very own symbol of excellence as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory as well as the updated version featuring the UK plate. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelt.com slash NWA. Falls count anywhere. Out oh, the agility of a cat now climbing the power station. Yeah, he he's just, climbing the power station. He just stuck right to it. He threw him. Oh, just, man. That was nuts. Oh, no, no, no. Alex, misery all the way to the top. Are you doing? kidding me? He's 20 feet in the air. My God. I've lost him in the light. Look out. Oh, I felt the reverberations in the crowd as misery came down so hard on the Mecca Wolf. That was insane! You beautiful people. I was expecting to see Joe here. Yeah, Joseph. look at that. Well, I mean, Joe's usually here every week, so I don't. You know, Joe's out doing some dirt devil Hello, action everyone. today. I don't know if you can recognize this, ladies and gentlemen. Joe is not near a grill. Joe is not in his office. There's no Emmys near him. There's none of that stuff. He's in a hotel room because right now Joe is on location for the NWA 2024 Rocket. Cup. He's boots on the ground. He's making sure things are happening. Make sure the locals know all about it. Joe, how is Texas right now? Right there. Ooh, ooh uh, he's so stormy, corny. dangerous. There's um, there's tornado warnings. Uh, but that's not going to stop me from leaving this podcast early to go have dinner with Tim Storm. You're so, in your element, what? though. Oh, Joe, you and dangerous weather it goes hand in hand. It's like the newsman days are all back there. You I, love this stuff. I, 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 I do like it, but I'd also much rather just have a steak with Tim tonight. <laughs> Oh, I don't yeah, want so any you can do, Now you can you can be like Lee Marsh. Everyone's <laughs> talking about it on the road here. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah. Everybody have a great yeah. Easter. I, I know, you know, I got one thing there. Pat Kenny told me that uh, 
we got three more weeks of winter or something like that because of what happened yesterday. I don't understand Easter buddies, religion, all this stuff. Hogan hitting a big boot. Whatever happens. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had some Tiny eggs. Tiny Phil. No one understands yeah. what you're talking about, Kyle. Yeah, no Pucks, yeah. Pat, 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 listen, I'd like them to know that there's little no inside things know. they don't know about. I don't care. I Was like yesterday that. Groundhog Day? Yeah, Pucks Tiny Phil's brother tells you. Yeah. It's like yeah. if he sees a shadow. Or, there's never been the. <laughs> there's more winter or not. I don't. Know. I don't knows? know if that's worldwide. I don't know if that one groundhog settles it for the entire no, it's planet. It's it's just, I like that we're treating this as if I wasn't just making a joke that somebody else made about a religious holiday yesterday, and you're like, let's talk about Groundhog Day. <laughs> Well, that's what you say. You were talking about the more weeks of winter. Oh, I, said, I see what he's doing because coming out of the tomb. He comes out of the tomb and he sees yeah. his shadow. Oh. There we go. Don't worry Nothing about Nothing like it. starting off no. the show sacrilegious. Uh, love that for everybody. It's Welcome, chat, to me. this. It is, uh, it's good to see you all. Thanks for being here. This is uh, this is the NWA live stream. And uh, I just it's us guys today. <laughs> and we're hanging out with you. I was thinking that maybe there'd be an April Fool's involved. I'm not a big fan of April Fool's to begin with, but I do know what is not a joke, what is all seriousness, what is really happening is if you've been watching our programming, there's been a countdown on NWA Power for the last couple of weeks, and that countdown coincides with tomorrow, April 2nd. Not April 1st, because again, if we announced something, you'd be like, are they serious? So tomorrow, make sure you're following NWA on social media there. There's going to be an announcement regarding perhaps an anniversary show that could be happening, where it'll be, when it'll be happening, some of the details, will tickets be on sale? I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to have to tune in to find out. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to tune in to find out. Or just watch here, because here it is. No, I'm just kidding. I just freaked Kyle out, though. <laughs> no, no. I was I was actually tempted to put it on the screen in the background. And that This time I was like, you know, I don't want to get grief in case I go a little too far with things like that. So people are just going to have to wait to find out tomorrow. But we're looking forward to it. Big wrestling week right now. And, uh, you know, we're happy you're taking the time out. Join us on a Monday, as always. I love that. You can check out social media for uh, what what all the wrestlers, the people you know from the National Wrestling Alliance are doing this weekend. Lots of people doing different things, going different places. I saw, like, uh, Miss a Kate, Miss a Mania is going on right now. And uh, you can check that out on her social media. And that, so, was, that was my Miss a Mania pose. I don't know. Oh, I like I that. I believe but, I'm in one of those. Yeah, I, I think you are. And, uh, this weekend. It was interviewed for that this week. Look at that. Uh, deal, deal sent this over, by the way, since we're talking about Danny deals right now. How about this? Look at this new thing that just dropped in the shop. Oh, uh, yeah. Got it's it 11 right by up. 14 poster. It was a it was a squared circle expo. Uh, that's what we made it for. And then, but I also made some extras for her to sign for me to put on the shop in case you couldn't be in Indianapolis this past weekend. How was that? Was that fun? Yeah, of course it was. It was good. Okay. So yeah. some stuff, saw some people. We saw some old friends, drank some beer. Carson Drake nearly became the NWA world champion. We would have had to change a bunch of stuff, but that's all right. Uh, that he was close. 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 He, 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 brother was it close. It could happen at any time. It, it could happen close. at any time. You know what he did, too? To, 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 he, had a, he had a marketing thing. I, I caught him early in the morning before the con opened. I said, what are you doing? Because he had all these Easter eggs. And inside, he put stickers of him, and he just dropped Spot them all on over. social media. <laughs> People That's walked true. by and picked up his He uh, he was backstage at right. the last NWA tapings, and he was giving like stock tips and things like that. Yeah. Apparently, he's doing very well at life. Yeah, uh, I mean, I always jokingly call him James Spader, but I think he really is. Uh, yeah, um, it definitely had that about him. And he said, uh, he goes, "I'll give you a little financial tip, Kyle." And I said, "What?" And he goes, "You want to spend less than you make." And then he gave me a smile and he walked away. And I was just like, that's, that's good, that's that's good advice. But it's common sense. That's good advice. Good advice. Yeah, a lot of people don't do that. Time. I, I don't do that either. There's new figures out this week. Pre-orders, baby. People came and saw uh, uh, the deal machine and Tiffany at the NWA table. It was a good time. Uh, I also have other things on the website, Gary, if you want to show them. I have new stuff coming. I just don't have good-looking mocks to show anybody, so I'm not going to do it. Do we have, like, an okay. Easter code, baby? I just made one. I made a code last week. Yeah. Um, and it expires today, right? I <laughs> know. It's, it it's over now. Yeah, it, it, it's it, over now. Oh, I'm sorry, still, guys. You missed on? out. Is it still on? It was It was available for a week. We had it till April 1st is what we had, but I don't okay. know. And today's April 1st, right? Today is April 1st. All right. Well, let me look. Let me look. Or is it? Bum, bum, <laughs> 
could, <laughs> this could be a joke. You can try it and see if it works. They're on nationalwrestlinglines.com. Hey, Kyle, who can you trust? Guys, if we feel a little like unprepared today more than usual, it is because we have spent the entire day trying to make sure that tomorrow, when it's time for to talk about some things, we're ready for it. So really, the thing we want to talk about you the most, we can't talk to you the most about until tomorrow which sucks because today's a Monday. You're going to have to wait till next Monday to talk about it. So either way, did we even line up a guest for tonight's show? We didn't. No. Wow, we just failed. We're, oh, we're ladies and gentlemen, out. you are in for a treat because we are going to just be Woo! talking Epic all sorts of business. It's going to be fantastic. In fact, you know what? Today, if you had questions ever, throw them in the chat. Let's play a today's little today. ask us anything. And I oh, do like mean this. anything. Hey, did, did, how do you guys feel? Well, I don't care. I think it's funny. But like when people are like at the airport <coughs> doing a Q and a and like nobody asked them anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine. My, 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 uh, my uncle Pierce, he, uh, he does that all the time. People do ask him though. Yeah. But people do uh, ask him. Yeah. How that's is good. Sal the pal doing? Sal the pal's going through some stuff right now. He's at a existential crisis at any given moment, but it seems like it's working for him at this point. There's no longer depression. It's just kind of yeah, like. That's where he's always in. Yeah, but now it's not depression. Now it's like a happy, you know, like he's seeing lights that aren't really there and trying. Either way, I think he's in a better place. Might not be good for all of us, but it's good for him. Kind of a mixed bag right there. What else we got there? Is it true I Billy mean, Corgan his... sold the NWA to Elon Musk for $10 million? Man, I hope so. I'd like to get some of that money and get paid. Yep. But I Elon guarantee you he would do it staff. for that price. No, we, just get, we would just get laid off, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, because Elon usually lays off his staff and then wonders why things don't work right anymore. Yeah, exactly. Uh, NWA US airing exclusively on Twitter. Well, that is a great April Fool's joke. By the way, do you know what I recently watched this last week? I watched the first episode of Carnyland, the uh, the pandemic era show. Wow, and Joe Galley, I, I was trying to explain yeah, to my, my girlfriend the, the era of which when we shut down. And, Humble brag, uh, Kyle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, no, Gary. Joe Galley, you were great on that show. Yeah, oh, what what is yeah. it, Deals? Yeah. So was we'll have our own conversation. You, you weren't in the first episode. Deals, you weren't in the first episode. I was on one of them. I was you, Nick's you, uh, fight, yes. Jim. campaign advisor. You oh, Gary, were great. Live Deals, it ends tonight at midnight. You're right. I just Look went, at uh, that. Live Deals is up. NationalWrestlingAlliance.com slash shop. You can get 25% off. So now... Yeah. No better time than now to show you things like uh, this. Like these shirts that are almost hey. sold out. It probably would have not been the best one to start off with because you might not even be able to get your size in these, but you could in these. How about that? The kitty got it. Wait, oh, Tiffany Davis shirt or the Mecca Wolf shirt. Had the Mecca Wolf shirt on at the gym today. I had to cut the sleeves on because the chest and the shoulders are getting a little too big. They can't be contained. And let me cut tell you, people on. were looking at me. People were looking you at cut me. Cut the sleeves off and reattach them? Yeah, no, no, you I can reattach sleeves your sleeve. You said uh, you said on. You said you cut. Did the I on. say on? I hope I didn't say on. I hope Joe's just yeah. being aggressive. Come on. Either way, that Mecha Wolf shirt it got some looks at the gym. It's a, it's a scary shirt. Scary good. You need to get a hold of that. I like that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, well, I mean, you got the new EC3 shirts there. Mm -hmm. The Maxi yeah. Impaler shirt. Those colored shirts are about gone right there to the right. Oh, the pink one. I've got more of the pink one than the yellow one. Okay. Uh, All right. Yellow and drink. So you yeah, have more of the there. yellow and black oh, ones it. because because that could come in handy. I have less coming the yellow and black ones. I can make more of them. I it's think we might have to make more depending on what happens. Oh, okay. Man. Well, you, you need to tell me these things off the air. Okay? I just I, thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> these are things I need to know. <laughs> you can't fame other people, but you got to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Lunchbox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just showing off the stuff while while all of this is going on. This is a this is a loose show tonight. It's gonna yeah. be loose. Is, Here's a great question: yeah. Is Plunkett Never, coming back to the NWA? Plunkett should always be in the NWA. Plunkett is always in our hearts. We all at any given that. moment he could do a run in. You never know when a Plunkett's gonna appear. Um, Man, if you could pick up. any indie workers to sign with the NWA, who would you pick and why? Well, what do you Gallagher. mean by indie? Do you mean somebody who just doesn't have a contract right now, or you mean somebody who's yeah, like you know, kick pads and flips and, and and looks like me I if I did that? I'd them. sign Matt Cardona. He doesn't have a contract <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> he doesn't have a contract. That brother goes anywhere. He does. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I would I would pick Trey Lamar. Trey Lamar. Okay. All right. Formerly like Trey that. Lamario of my crew. He's really good. 
John Davis. Trey Lamar. And I'm biased. Me too. I like uh, uh, I like that big trouble <laughs> Ben Bishop guy. People we know. Uh, that guy's good. Who's that? Uh, that that uh, what's his name? Big Trouble, Big Bish- Bishop. Oh, Ben, ben Bishop. Bishop. I saw that yeah, big this like weekend. Him. I know too. I was like, Jesus. Christ. Yeah, I think he grew. Now he's like he's huge. Yeah, that guy's a big <laughs> boy. Hold yeah. on, this this is a great question in the chat. Deals, was it by choice that you didn't grow dreads on top of your head? No, it just <laughs> did what it wanted to. Yeah. I like that. By the way, the you know, because I do this more often. And so it's, it never it never gets a chance to sit. Danny is one of those individuals that you always hear about, like guys who will be at like fancy places just looking like however they want to look. That man has more confidence and just doesn't give a shit about anything. Yeah. He is the guy who's just like, <laughs> take it or leave it. I'm awesome. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> uh, the masked wrestlers in the EC3 and OVW, NVWA invasion, no. Um, or could they be? Could they be the individuals that also shot G's in Pennsylvania? And took Bobby Fulton's jacket. That's right. Those guys are just running rough shot all over. You're wondering what happened to Rush Freeman. I think he's running around committing crimes under a mask. Is it true that Rondo Freeman is wrestling a panda bear at the Crockett Cup? Maybe. Oh. He could be teaming what, with the Whatever Crockett happened to Cardi Land? You yeah. know, uh, Cardi Land, unfortunately uh, – what happened was uh, what happened was gerrymandering. See, there, what uh, they happened? Changed I the outline right of this. Of this. <laughs> oh. I did not do that. No, no, that was that was just him bowing out. He's got to go have dinner with Tim Storm. He's going to go have a steak or anything like that. Uh, hey, I see a lot of stuff Tampa about uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? what about that Carney Land? And it just I just lost. Oh no, me and AK were supposed to be do a horror podcast on that damn. You car. were. I was just I playing that. about this yesterday. And then it went, and then it stopped, and we never got to do it. Do you remember when there was the, there was an Eli Drake show? There was all sorts of things. Tim Storm yeah, uh, gave a history of George with, Washington and other things like that. There was all sorts of things. We're talking about like blood dye. Hey, let's talk like about good stuff. I like oh, this. Yeah. Uh, Plunky is going to be at Harriman Heat Two, April twenty sixth. If you guys aren't aware, I, I did want to talk about this today. Actually, you know Friday, be April twenty sixth, Harriman Heat Two. That is Joe Kazana Promotions, JCP Southeast. One of the prestigious National Wrestling Alliance territories. You can uh, join a lot of us there at that show. I said us. I'm not going to be there probably. Those are blue at, devils at, up you know, at the they top, don't right? That's a sports yeah. thing, right? Yeah. 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 Dude, uh, D- Deal's going to be there. Alex Taylor's going to be there. Hey, Mark Rowland is in the chat. That's who I want the NWA to bring back. I love some Mark Yes, Mark oh, Rowland. Yeah. The man who makes things happen. Always. Uh, if you didn't know... <laughs> Uh, if you haven't been following along, you should go follow it on Instagram and everywhere. JCP Southeast, you should go check them out. Uh, recently, the Heat Seekers were the NWA Southeast Tag Team Champions, and uh, they had the belts stripped from them because they could not make this show. So instead, there is a tournament going on. Papa for- Santa doesn't mess around, does he? Can't be no, there. He's ready. Yeah, we'll look at that. Titles. And in that very first round, you get cool matches like this, the Stu Crew versus TVA and a qualifier there. And you get the Southern Six showing up. Oh, yeah. You know, Jason in the South chat here, the country gentleman. Andrea Price asked, do you guys think the Southern Six will have gold each in the NWA? This could be the opportunity there. It could be JCP gold right there, the Southern Six going for the tag Ed team M. titles there. Ed M, I yeah. agree with Jacob Fat too, but I thought he had a contract somewhere. But yeah, Jacob. Uh, I did a show with that brother in Detroit a few years ago. I'm talking about somebody who can move. That's a yeah. giant. Holy Christ! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, check I out. he had a deal though. Maybe Jacob Fatu will show up at Harriman Heat too. You don't know, so show up yourself and find out. Friday, April 26, in Harriman, Tennessee. If you're a fan of the NWA territories, that's where you want to be. Uh, other NWA territory stuff going on. You got uh, NWA Exodus Pro have announced their next show. It's on May 11th for the fame. Look at those faces on there. You can see Dante Casanova, Richard Holiday there. You can, uh, Aaron Stevens, obviously, our friend Stacy, the Cowboy, the Space Cowboy is there, man. I but saw, Jesus, I saw Tim Can't that teach brother. that. Enzo. Enzo is there. Look at that. That's exciting. I saw the Cowboys yeah, weekend. Sure. That brother can eat. <laughs> <laughs> we were on our way back to the show and he was like hold on a second gotta get a little bite to eat that brother got like three hamburgers a corn dog 
uh, Tots. But I mean, he's a big brother. You know. Are we doing these in order? Because I got a question here in chat about will there be any debuts for the TV tapings? In I don't know. Tampa? Uh, coming up there right there jason Wilt wants to know that jason listen the tv tapings in tampa coming up just two weeks away less than two weeks away go to nwa live events.com get your tickets it's a very unique studio television taping two days friday and saturday that'll be setting up the crockett cup so there will be some people on there that may surprise you and that they'll, if you're live and in person might get a little taste of what's to come get a little uh, I heard Black Go Jesus on. is going to be making his return in Dothan at hard times. That's going to be coming up over True. the next few weeks. Yeah, uh, so no. be sure to tune in there. Is he going to be at Crockett Cup? Yes. Uh, I guess. Okay. I will tell yes. you Black Jesus will be at Crockett Cup, but in what capacity are we going to see him managing somebody? Are we going to see him in competition? It all remains to be seen. He is hungry after bite, fighting cancer, uh, fighting literally being shot as somebody tried to carjack the man, he's had quite the last 365 days, but now he's ring ready. Whether or not he's going to step in as an athlete, as a commentator, maybe on the outside, maybe a manager. Hell, maybe he'll take my position as a ring announcer. We don't What's know. For You're going to have to tune in to find out. Black Jesus, right before he left, was managing the current world heavyweight champion, EC3. They had that, that they type had of that thing going on. It clicked up, yeah. You know, I, and I've said it before in private. I might as well say it here. You know, EC3, very into uh, spiritual aspects. He had the, the crystal cage on his neck that was supposed to expound negative energy. And, of course, you know, the big rumor in the locker room is EC3 expounded so much negative energy. Jesus took that in, and that's why everything's been happening to him. But who's to say if that's true or not? I don't believe in those types yeah. of things. Do you? I was going to say, for a guy who's not religious, you turned into the mummy part three over there. Well, it's um, just, you know, sometimes we hang out with people that hold little things in their hands that are supposed to do things like that, too. So yeah. you guys want a little uh, a little yeah, thing that I wasn't planning on showing? I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Uh, hold on. If you got a little thing that you weren't planning uh, on showing. <laughs> yeah. I yes. knew as soon as I said that I would it's regret it. Your sex um, yeah. That which which part? The I don't know. But either, Gary, either I'm one. trying to get not wrestling Gary to come out every now and then on here. Oh, man. If this happens this is, one day. Well, Whoa. I'm trying. I'm trying to be professional here. Um, yeah. No, I, I saw. I keep seeing Carson Drake getting mentioned in the chat, and uh, I wanted to give him some love here. We we started the won the title. Money Monday was going to be a segment, and uh, I never got to do the intro for it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one right now, since we're here, and you guys keep talking about Carson Drake. So uh, here was got the very wallet. first. Uh, Make me money. Yeah, <laughs> it's me. The most successful man in the NWA, Carson Drake. With a Money Move Monday, this one's a little more inspirational. I was walking down the street and this hobo on the ground goes, Carson, help me be successful like you. And I said, sir, you know what? You're homeless. And you know what they say about home? It's where the heart is. So I guess you are also heartless and smelly and dirty, gross, hungry, stupid, clearly, because you can't maintain a job or money. But my suggestion is, <laughs> buy a home it's not that hard sell it money talks carson walks <laughs> well there that there you laugh go. that laugh is just can a laugh be punchable yeah i had to hear um, it a bunch of times too because every time he did he cut an interview for some podcast at the convention he came over and did it in front of the banner that was right behind me so i had to, i had to hear it many times gotcha <laughs> Eric, I was asking, will any of the territory's titles be displayed on nwa power uh actually there's been a lot of talk about that you never know i could tell you that i do believe the crockett cup may have some territory presentation during it whoa so. Whoa, who knows? Interesting. I wasn't sure like if something that. popped up on the screen behind me. I was like, I didn't put any graphics in there that are spoilers. Yeah. Or did I? Never I don't know. know. Gary, what's your hat say? Family something? Uh, it says family business beer company uh, is what it says. You own a beer Which company, Gary? doesn't seem related to this, but I'll tell you what. It's actually owned by uh, the guy who plays Dean Winchester on the show Supernatural. Jensen Ackles. This is him and his wife's uh, brewery, which is in Texas. So also related. I'm trying to remember what city it was. Is that is that uh, the guy from the Bloody Valentine remake or the guy from the Yeah, New it's North him. Wax, yep. uh, the remake. Which Located one is? in uh, Dripping Springs, Texas. That's which one is that. made up? Dripping Springs, Texas? 
At least it's finally a Texas town I can pronounce. Uh, that location is about uh, it's about three hours from Forney. So, uh, may you know, if you go into Texas, you might make that trip. But anyway, it's a cool brewery. The the wife and I went when we went to a Mission Pro Wrestling show uh, down in Texas, and uh, we took an Uber out to the brewery. Uh, Doc, Doc was with us. Doc, I love Doc. And uh, and then it started pouring rain, and no Ubers or taxis would come and pick us up out there because it's out yeah. in like wine country of Texas or something. There's like all these vineyards and stuff, but it's it's away from like any major areas. And uh, anyway, I got this hat. Luckily, somebody who was a fan of this is the NWA. Happened to right. also be in the area and was at the Mission Pro show and heard we were stranded when we tweeted out and came and picked us up. Was it that? Look at that! That is that warms my heart. I love the that idea was, that that's happened. And speaking of people, Tony, who's a great guy, fantastic. Speaking of people that warm hearts, uh, Joseph D. Hughes in the chat says, "Where's Jamie Stanley been? Jamie Stanley opened up a wrestling school in uh, Florida and has been focusing on that. So big props to him for training the next generation of stars there." Uh, yeah. do, 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 do. Let's see what else we got on here. Was that man trying to sell me insurance? I'm guess you're talking about Carson Drake. And uh, yeah, if money could be made on that, I'm sure he would be making the investment. Has the perfect storm, Tim Storm, been booked back in Texas? Uh, Tim Terry Storm Lander. is in competition <laughs> right now. He has uh, been in a tag team as of late with Jax Dane and with a Crockett Cup right around the corner. Taking place in Texas, one would think that Tim Storm will be booked back in Texas. He's there right now. He's going to have a steak with uh, Joe Galley. That's why Joe had to powder out right there. Da, da, da. Mm. Somebody else said, how do we feel about EC3 as NWA champion? You know, I like EC3 much like the book Green Eggs and Ham, how they're like, I would not eat green eggs and ham. I would not. Eat. I'm the opposite with EC3. I don't care where he is. I don't care what he's doing. I'm a fan of EC3. Him as champion, I'm all for. Also, I just wish I looked like him at my age. It's upsetting. That guy's uh, got some genetics on him. It works out a little bit. Ruthie J is the CCW women's champ. Our NWA and CCW in talks. We've worked with them before. We've had conversations. There's and back shows. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, oh, in talks. I don't know. Like, what, there's they exist. We exist. Things happen every now and then. There's crossover. There's talent. Yeah. You know. So that is that. Sorry, I thought you were discussing with me. I'm like, wait, what? No, I, that's what I said. In talks or what? I don't know. I'd I like to see the Von Erichs in the NWA. Says Linson Franklin. Von Erichs, Legacy Tag Team, Texas. Thrill Billy Silas Mason was in a movie involving the Von Erichs, The Iron Claw. Huh. Weird. Who's to say? <clears throat> He might know some of those guys. Speaking of uh, the Thrillbilly Silas Mason, uh, also going back to JCP here, um, did you guys see this? On April 8th, two ancient rivals collide. Moon Pie presents Sun vs. Moon 24. Brutality in the totality. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sun! Ooh, that is a mean crowd. They do not like him at all. A solar eclipse smacked out. Uh-oh. What's this? The moon! And he's got the limited time eclipse survival kit moon by minute! The sun doesn't even have a snack, Kim. Who will win? Are you ready to meet the dark side of the moon? Because I'm casting you into my shadow, son! Nobody knows! Actually, the moon will cover the sun for exactly four minutes and 27 seconds. Nobody knows! This is quite terrifying. You better go out there and get you some moon pies for this here eclipse, because the sun is about to go down! Moon Pie presents Sun vs. Moon 24, brutality in the totality, April 8th, 1.27 p.m. Central Time. Brought to you by Moon Pie. The official snack of the solar eclipse. I love that the fine print on there says, can you sponsor a solar eclipse? We kind of just said it and went with it. Uh, the total by the way, these glasses are so dark. These are for looking at the eclipse, and it is I can't see anything right now because there's no sun right now. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh man, that 3D glasses. 
No, no, no. Those you look like you got 3D glasses on, baby. These are uh, these are solar eclipse glasses. Look, oh. if you put that right there, you can oh. see. Those yeah, are the old style anything. 3D glasses they used to get. When I went and saw uh, Freddy's Dead in the theater, oh, 1991. Horrible movie. Oh, they yeah. those, uh, <laughs> that's what they look like. And they're like, put these on when Maggie goes into the whatever the hell. I don't remember. Boy, oh boy, the little demons come out. And, like, oh, yeah. and uh, Friday the 13th Part 3 did that too. You could yep. watch that in 3D yeah. and it's like an eyeball comes right out at you. That's true. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yep. That's, that's where Jason cool. found his uh, hockey mask. That's true. It's Imagine, crazy. do you think the franchise the would have still lasted if yelling. it wasn't for the hockey mask? I don't think it would have. Do I think what? The franchise would have lasted if not for the hockey mask. If yes, it, it was making I, money and it iconography. Was no, it was making money. It was low budget. Nobody knew it was iconic at the time. Oh. And also, part two, he's creepier with that bag on his head. He is, but I never <laughs> bought the figure. I didn't care to buy that figure. It just wasn't. Yeah, but if he wore a bag the whole time. I got the, had to pull it off his head at the end because Paul had to find out what he looked like. I got 3D. I got a I got a Friday the 13th 3D figure because it's the initial, and then I've got the uh, what's what was it? The one where he gets pulled back out of the water by the chick with the. It happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, seven. Like yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's yeah, before yeah. Jason takes Manhattan. It's the one. Where, yeah, it's the zombie. That's, yes, I've got that yeah. one hanging out over there behind me as well. That's Welcome to horror talk, guys. This is what we yeah. really love. Is horror. I saw that one at the Ogden Six in like Naperville, and it was like. Uh, a boxing match it was a bunch of like drunk, you know, we were like little skater punk kids or whatever we were. And there was all these like drunk biker dudes over here and people over there cheering for the girl and they're cheering for Jason. And nobody was scared to say the least, but it was part seven. So, I mean, at that point, you know, and dead Cody says Friday that the, uh, he put me on there. The moon looks like AJ Kazana to him. And that's, I don't think that's true. I don't think that, looks uh, anything like AJ Kazana. Uh, that the moon looks happy. It. Yeah. The moon looked happy. Yeah. I don't think AJ Kazana's ever looked happy. Never seen AJ look happy. Never he's seen the, AJ He's the grumpy one, happy. especially after this past week on NWA Power, if you guys were watching. He oh, let's talk about, took the, how about that. Well, he he took the L to Zion in that he's national title tournament. And uh, so Zion advancing on. We've seen also, uh, we've seen uh, Bulletproof Troop advance. And we have also seen now, uh, who was the other one? Uh, don't tell me. Don't tell this me. week, there's going to be a national title match as well, uh, as Tom Latimer will have the opportunity to progress, or a man we keep on talking about could also be the person that beats Tom Latimer and upset the entire tournament. That person is. Do we have the graphics? I thought I sent them. Carson Drake. You did send the graphics. I was building up to that because I was trying I'm to say so who sorry. the other person, who the other person was that was in the you, tournament. You walked you away and you had a look of panic on your face. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, it was Burchill, Burchill, Zion, and Bulletproof Troop. And then tomorrow on NWA Power, we're going to find out if it's Carson Drake or Tom Latimer. <laughs> I, like Car I like Carson, but the money's on Tom here. I just <laughs> what, what, what a uh, just <laughs> contrast Tom, Tom is, of two graphics right there. Tom, Tom's not having it. He's yeah. not in a laughing mood. Man, this look is, at that man. He's just like, I've been eating chicken by the pound. I'm, I'm not, I need some more in my life. And here we are, Carson Drake, just pissing me yeah. off. Yeah. I yeah. Get that there. was my Tom impression. Yeah. That was a good one. <sighs> All right, guys, why don't you put up a photo of me smiling every once in a while? I've always got a little piece of What, uh, uh, what else is on the show tomorrow there, Garrison? Oh, you want to talk about NWA power just in general? We can do that. That's every yeah. Tuesday. Brand new episodes drop on the CW. You can get that. Anywhere um, on on uh, that the carries your apps. I mean, obviously. Um, <laughs> Spin it out. Or, or if you don't want to download the app, you go to cwtv.com. Watch it. No subscription required for your cable or anything like that. But you know what? The app's handy. You can do it on your phone. You can throw it to your Roku. You can all sorts I do that of instead of, of working there. sometimes. I just throw on cwtv.com and just watch Do you know I have to yeah. watch Power as part of work sometimes? Yeah. Just point that out yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, you can have worse gigs. I um, could have worse gigs. Yeah. Uh, let's talk sticks. about some of the matches you're going to see tomorrow night on NWA Power. How about this one? This one's going to be interesting as we whoa, gear whoa. up for the Crockett Cup. As a matter of fact, tag team action is huge on NWA right now. And the kids and the slime balls are two young teams that are bursting on the scene. They're going head to head. We're going to see who's the most ready out of these two tomorrow. 
They're going to Slime Ball City. I got to be honest with you guys. When I first saw the kids and the Slime Balls, I I'm an old man, and so I was like, the youth youth confuses me. But the more I see both of these teams, the more I realize that I don't know anything initially. My guts were wrong, and that these two teams have a very bright future ahead of them. Uh, the kids versus the Slime Balls, ladies and gentlemen. These two teams can go all at it, and they are trying to make a name for themselves. Who will be the youngest team? to advance in the National Wrestling Alliance in the future. Well, we're going to find out. The start of that is right now. The kids versus the slime balls. My money? <sighs> My money's on the kids. All right. I, yeah, I, I I like the kids. Jackson Drake over there, not related to Carson that I'm aware of. Um, and then Lev. And you got uh, Slime Time, Tommy Rant. Is that right? And then uh, <laughs> Slime Ball Sage. <laughs> <laughs> Here which was slime time and slime ball. What a, they're they're all together. They're the slime well, they're slime balls. <laughs> Ricky Bobby Sony says slime balls are fan friendly and fantastic. I, I, I fan friendly. Fan, I I mean maybe I'm sorry. I re, I read that as family friendly. I was gonna say because when they talk about getting getting icky and slime city and stuff like that, I was like I feel like there might be more to that. But never mind. Fan friendly. I understand. I thought they were talking about family friendly. Move on. Um, I misread it. Uh, all right. Well, this is an exciting match. Some young talent in the National Wrestling Alliance. I love this. But if, if that's not your cup of tea, maybe singles action kind of thing. How about this one? I, I'm excited about this one. Student of Brett the Hitman Hart, Moja Bari uh, from Canada. Coming on down to NWA Power in Tampa. And he's taking on Joe Alonzo. Joe Alonzo has been nonstop talking about this NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship. Well, he's the young crown so, champion, Gary. That's why. I I know you've been saying that. And he, Does that he, make so, me the uncrowned national champion? Because if I just talk about it I, and I never win it, I, I'm uncrowned? No, he had the match won. He had a, a corrupt referee in Colby's pocket. We all saw it. It was live on pay-per-view from Cleveland, Ohio. And everybody saw it. So I'm just saying, you know, he's pissed about it. And, and, and now he's got to now he's got to wrestle Mojabari for what? You know, he should be he should be the champion. Listen, I want Mojabari to teach the self-proclaimed Mr. NWA, Joe Alonzo, a thing or two about respect uh, and everything that Joe Alonzo is always lacking. Uh, Mojabari obviously has a great lineage being trained by Bret Hart. And uh, Joe Alonzo obviously is uh, obnoxious. So my money's on Joe on Mo Jabari. And uh, yeah. And if they ever have a child, then that child's name will be Joe Jabari. That's true. Or Mo Joe D Jabari. Or Mo Alonzo. Oh, oh, Mo Alonzo and Joe Jabari. Oh, baby. I like it. Those are great names. Yeah. Wow, we're we're shipping Joe Alonzo and Mo Jabari right here on what the NWA live stream. There's so much respect and they become best friends, and that's their new name. They could become like a tag it. team at the Crockett Cup. But until I think then, you know, with Mojo would be the team name. I don't know why. Oh, you would not do that. oh man. Uh, Book it, know. Billy Corgan. Right now, though, Joe Alonso is trying to prove he is the uh, legitimate number one contender to that NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. So tomorrow is going to go a long way to proving that if he can take out Mojo Bari. So we're going to see how that goes on power. Uh, also, we already mentioned this, Tom Ladder, we're taking on Carson Drake. You're going to find out which one of these men will be the fourth in the upcoming, at hard times, four-way, the fatal four-way for the NWA National Heavyweight Championship. And then... It's a matter of respect in this one. More tag team action Ooh. than six-man tag team action. Knox and Murdoch and their new best friend, Eric Smalls, are going to be taking on the Spectaculars. I always call them the new Spectaculars 2.0. We're just rolling with the Spectaculars, I guess. You know, so. Eric Smalls, prison rules, went after Knox and Murdoch, had some ball punch in order to get their respect and things like that. If there's ever been a testicle that needs to be hit, it's the human testicle that is Rush Freeman. I'm just hoping that Eric Smalls. <laughs> You're welcome, Dios. Wow. <laughs> We're going to see how that gimmick works. but uh, I swear to God, if Rush and the rest of the Spectaculars win this match, because upsets have been known to happen, I am going to lose my ever-loving mind. I need Knox, Murdoch, and Small to just I, – I need them to win this like I've never needed somebody to win something before. Well, I understand that you want to see Knox and Murdoch just uh, wreak havoc. Uh, I can understand that. But e even if you don't believe in Rush, you do have to respect the uh, how wiry uh, young Rolando is. And, then and Slade. Slade. I was going to say, Slade is just – 
he is the wild card in this one. Yeah, he is. He is pretty pretty beastly. So I don't know. I would not count anything out when Slade's over there in the corner. So that's a that's going to be an interesting one. You know, I I'm excited about that. This isn't meant to be insensitive, but you know, Slade obviously he's he's been on the record. He has he has the hearing problem. And it makes me wonder, you know, you always hear about people that have like one sense that's that's not quite strong enough so the others compensate for it. I feel like Slade has made up for it with his ring awareness and everything else like that. I feel like he's more dangerous because of what some people would look at as a disability. I uh, I think that that's a good excuse to not hear the count when the referee uh, is trying to stop yeah, you from... Uh, oh, yeah. Gary, you're so good at this! Yeah. <laughs> so... You know, yeah, get that out there. Pull fast one on old Gary. Yeah. Sorry, you had to wave that. <laughs> you know, you got to put your fingers in front of my face, Scott Wheeler. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear that's you. It's a, a good call. But that's all tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, really? starting at 9 a.m. on NWA Power. So you can watch that as early as 9 a.m. Eastern. It is so sure hard. That out on the CW. It is so hard for me to break the every years of saying 605. It's, it's such a challenge to overcome. But ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to overcome that challenge because now the show's on earlier for you on the CW, CWTV.com. Download the CW app. No subscription required. We're talking Crockett Cup 2024. This is this is the NWA Weekly He's podcast. not Daredevil. He's not Daredevil. Monday's Daredevil was blind. That's very true. You don't know. I mean, he, And he can hear. He's not completely deaf. You know who Daredevil is? Steve. My buddy Steve is Daredevil. That brother can't see. It's got sonar. Oh yeah, crazy Steve. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy Steve can't see at all. He's blind for real. <laughs> he's Stan Hansen style. He's like, I'm just gonna throw is Aaron this. Aaron Stevens is gonna be the Dothan. Yeah, Doth. Listen, Aaron Stevens is the manager of the World Tag Team he Champions. Can't run a show he is everywhere they are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, Aaron Stevens makes sure it's part of his contract. He's everywhere at the NWA. Is can't get you can't shake him. So why would you want to? No, you wouldn't want to. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Oh, I, I, I got something. I got something I could show you. Um, this is a... Uh, as long as it's not rush. Well, no story time gonna... with rush. No story time with rush. No story time? Oh, well, never mind. No, I'm just kidding. Have... No, that's... <laughs> not feeling that. Okay. No, no, no. no. I just... Uh, did, did everybody see Alex Misery at the beginning jumping Richard, off the top uh, of the 1900. Power Oh, we got one of those sliding my DMs fake profiles on it. Ooh, nice. Uh, what are they trying to get out of you? Do they want your name? Do they want your cuddling? Do they want your hair? Do they want to get them out of Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, I was going to show you people were asking about uh, about the World Heavyweight Championship or something for the, the Crockett Cup, and I thought, hey, you know it would be fun to show you? Actually, uh, somebody's already stepped up and made a challenge. For that world's heavyweight championship. Amigos, para quien no me sabe, yo soy el rudo de las chicas y regreso al NWA el 18 de mayo. Now, for the rest of you that aren't lucky enough to be bilingual, I'm Sam Adonis. And right now, it's time to talk about the NWA and Billy Corgan. You see, everyone says he never meant to do anything wrong, but it will get worse if he waits too long. Lucky for each and every one of you, Billy did not forget my number, and he called and invited me to the Crockett Cup on May 18th here in Dallas, Texas. You see, last time around, I didn't have too much fun in the NWA. I had some dead weight at my side. However, it's a new year. It's a new time to shine for Sam Adonis, and I will be there May 18th, and I think maybe I'm coming for 10 pounds of gold. So write that down in your little notepad, sir. Get ready. Because El Rudo de las Chicas is coming for an official takeover of the National Wrestling Alliance. He's so right. happy. Also, he is so happy. Close El Rudo. Rudo. Sam ow, Adonis. Ow, 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 all right. Ow. Kyle. All right. And uh, I had arm day today, and I just like moved my arms in a way, and they just tore a bicep. It throws up on me. Now. Yeah, I don't want to be like that other guy just tearing biceps randomly and stuff like that. Oh, look at you flexing. Finding a way to flex. No, that's called I, I just hurt. Speaking oh, of humble brags. Well, yeah. Kyle and his 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 09 ROH heat. He's got it with everybody. That's right, baby. <laughs> now I'm nowhere near as Yeah, never be as a it still says eye candy right in my groin whenever I put on gear. 
Uh, bring the North American Heavyweight Championship, terminate the National Heavyweight Championship. I don't have a saying that. Willie Bowen trying to make demands there. Who is he to make demands? Alex Misery's father was Apollo. Apollo. You would have seen him in TNA. Uh, Not in there. the Misfits. Yeah. No, Joe's never said the Misfits. Mm, He's yeah. never said that. He's always said Alex Misery's father was uh, Apollo from the OG LAX from TNA. He's never but we said have that. had a member of the Misfits on NWA programming before. Yeah, on the pay-per-view. But he's yeah. never said it about Alex Misery. Yeah. I can hear him loud and clear in the, in the cans. <laughs> well, I thought this was neat um, is that Sam Adonis is making a play for the 10 pounds of gold. That's going to be interesting. Whoever has it at the Rocket Cup. So, um, Jason Will in the chat, by the way, making requests to Danny Deals. And now I'm kind of questioning if this guy's got an eye, if he's listening in our calls every now and then. Maybe he is. Yeah. I saw that too. I was like, that's interesting. Who wants NWA micro brawlers? We just talked about it. <laughs> Weird. We just talked about it. Yeah, maybe he's, he's he bugged my phone or something. <sighs> yeah, that may be who you were thinking about. He was with uh, Vampiro and, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. La Rebellion. Yeah. So uh, nobody cares. Kobe about might have your answer there. Yeah, nobody cares about the Thank you. Well, what else we got? Going on? Opinions and uh, I haven't seen the clowns see in a while. What if Two Dope joins Violent J for their Crockett Cup tournament? That is correct. You, know what? you never know what's going to happen. Isn't Sam and Don? Yes, he is. <clears throat> He is. NWA well, actions yeah. figure sounds fun. Yeah, I, I think every every single QA I've ever seen with Billy Corgan at any of these events, I, he always at least gets asked about either figures or video game. We've talked figures about or video figure. game. The figure is more yeah. it is closer than a video game, I'll tell you that. Um yeah. uh but Sam I love how Sam came on. He was spitting Spanish and then he turned into Pittsburgh Sam at the end. He's like, check it out, it'll be Don there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that you can't hide well, it. You know, yeah, yeah, what if Yago they, they and Ruffalo come back? That'd be they fine. They did. They broke running. a lot of brackets. because They, they were the ones. Yeah. Yeah. They were, I thought they might actually go all the way last year. but uh, They might go all the way. Yeah. Uh, Can we read check. the troll comments as well? I mean, I guess if we see them. Yeah, if they're, sure. if they're clever Sometimes enough. Sometimes it moves so know. fast they don't see him. I suppose I got to look on here. Slayer versus most the, Taylor, possible. Most of the troll comments are just like, NWN's dead, or I hate you, or yeah. it's, it's kind of... Well, it, it, hey, we're on here talking about that. If now. you have a really funny troll comment, I will draw attention to it. I don't care, guys. Listen, yeah. if you're entertaining, I'm yeah. all for it. We don't see all of them, though. Even the good ones, I don't see. I mean, here, I popped for this one. The Pollo Del Mar one transforms into Paul. That popped me. Yeah, I like that. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Transform. What right. would be the name of the new NWA video game? I mean, I think you would have to go with Power. It just feels like that's yeah. a, the new Power feels like it would work as a video game name. It would. So. Power. Yeah. Uh, TV title contender Magic Jake is the number one contender for the World Television Champion. Well, he's been hanging uh, into it. NWA lore. He beat uh, two other guys in a triple threat in Robarts. Uh, for the honor of being the number one contender, yeah. he is yet Tina and though. somebody else. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Katina! I saw him in West Virginia a few weeks ago. The brother was looking pretty jacked. Can't wait! Can't wait! Can't wait! Uh, hurry. No, no, no. I mean, I I heard that guy might be back around. So never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, son is a fan of construction. He's got their banner on his wall. Okay, I like that. He said he prefers BFT. BFT. Well, Aaron Stevens. That? This is Aaron Stevens, Aaron Stevens. Aaron Stevens is a genius, right? You guys got to get over the Aaron Stevens heat, right? You don't even know them, Noni. You don't even know BFT. BFT let Aaron speak for themselves. I think their personality is anger. Every it's time I hear carnage. I hear damage go, damage, and I hear carnage go, carnage. I go, those guys got a lot of personality. Yeah, Aaron's got enough for all three of them. They don't need that, right? NWA yeah. Ring Monsters, Cosmic Joe, ABC Stardust. A NWA Ring Monsters sounds like the action figure line. Yeah, other than the video game. Yeah, I can see Ring Monsters. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it when she fights back. Noni, just no, no. I, 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 I see what you're saying, but Aaron is kind of the mouthpiece, and I think that Blunt Force Trauma they prefer to show their uh, giving Noni a hard time in the chat. Yeah, I like Noni kind of a, McPony. Kind of an argument with Noni. 
now, <laughs> now it's about this. We're, we're feuding now. So. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys work in a program? You're going to blow it off at 76? It says I'm supposed to proceed to check out. I'm sorry. I'm buying pre-workout right now, and it was supposed oh, to give me a discount. Well, that just price. shows the people how much you care, Kyle. It does show because right Chad now is here I'm looking out, at the you. competition in the National Wrestling Alliance, and I'm thinking, what if one of the days I say something about somebody and I have to step up and prove myself to them? I got to make sure I'm ready to go. That's why I'm thinking about pre-workout. Because I was listening to this, and all I could think of is Joe Alonso is going to give me shit for me talking about him earlier on. He always does. Showed up in my hotel room one night, slapped me in the face. I'd let it go. I'd let it go. And I just want to make sure that if anything ever happens, because we got tapings coming up, I'm prepared for it. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. I'm lit, which is the name of the pre work what Lots we got? to talk about Mims in the chat. I love that. I, the Magnum. Magnum Muscle taking that L on NWA Power this past week. That uh, well, didn't Dak uh, help him though? You see that at the end, he didn't tag it. He didn't come in to break up the pin or nothing. Dak just let it happen. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes miscommunication. I don't miscommunication. Think there was looking right at him. He went to get in. He was like, no. Nah. I don't oh. think it was personal. I'm just saying. Oh. All right, guys. It's getting close to the top of the hour here, and we haven't had a moment of Sal yet. So oh, I think it's, I think it's time. What do they really want from me? That's what you have to ask yourself, Sharon. What they really want. That's what you have to ask yourself, Nikki. Karen wouldn't approve of this. Huh? Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so obviously he's smelling the fumigations, things like that. Yeah, so no, get him out of here. I like this. Rebirth what is, <laughs> what is that, that was thinking or, that. or or <laughs> just birth imagery. There's another uh, North American title in here. People love that North American title, apparently. Kyle, <laughs> please let Joe Alonzo do some troll vignettes like he did on Homicide. That would be hilarious. Let him? Kyle, the man does whatever he Kyle, wants. Kyle, let Joe Alonzo go off, yeah. please. The man does whatever the hell he wants. He's very entertaining, if not obnoxious. We didn't tell him to do that. He just did it. No, he just if we did fact, tell him, he probably wouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know Homicide didn't appreciate it, but that's, hell you know. No. Yeah. No. No. All right. I well, started, I, the homicide was my roommate that weekend. I think. I feel like. Oh, oh no, 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 not that weekend. The weekend before, but he had seen him. He's like, oh, you know, he was. <laughs> he was out about it. All right, folks. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on this loosey goosey version of the NWA live stream. We love uh, seeing everybody in the chat. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And. Make sure you check out all the stuff going on with the National Wrestling Alliance. If you're in Texas, you want to be a part of the Crockett Cup. That's coming up on May 18th. Also, still some tickets left over at the TV tapings in Tampa, Friday, April 12th, and Saturday, April 13th. You can also uh, check out Harriman Heat if you are in the Tennessee region for I'm gonna be Friday, there. April 26th. Yeah, look at Lucky's that. Gonna be gonna be there. Alex Taylor is going to be there. We're going to find new... NWA Southeastern Tag Team Champions at that event. Or if you're in Ohio, For the Fames coming on May the 11th. So much stuff. All of these, you can get tickets linked directly to you at NWALiveEvents.com. NWALiveEvents.com. Um, and uh, make sure you check out the shop, NationalWrestlingAlliance.com. Check out NationalWrestlingAlliance.com. You can get the magazine. You can get all the cool stuff in the shop. Tell and the code. It ends tonight. All of this ends tonight, but you can get 25% off at that it same place. Tonight. But tonight's the last night, so you got to jump oh. on that. If you want some cool stuff, 
for great prices, that's where you want to do. I mean, there are already great prices. Now you get 25% off of those prices, which is yeah. pretty incredible. Exactly. And of course, NW Power tomorrow night or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tuesday. I always, I'm so used to saying tomorrow night, but you can watch it anytime yeah. on the CW app starting tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. We're going to find out who then who, potentially who is going to be the national heavyweight champion. We're going to find out the fourth contender in a fatal four way. You're going to see if Joe Alonzo could keep the streak alive. You're going to see huge tag team action, six man and normal tag teams. As a matter of fact, so tune in NWA power is going to be huge. Thanks everybody for being here. Did you guys have anything else you wanted to add for the people? I'm just confused because my my multi USB thing keeps on shorting out, so I don't know what's happening right now. It's weirded me out, guys. I have issues here, but you know what's going to not be an issue? Watching Power tomorrow night, enjoying the announcement tomorrow. Maybe tickets are going to be on sale for an upcoming event. I guess you're going to have to wait to find out. Less than 24 hours away, we'll see what happens. But everyone should be talking about what is going on in August. Leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you need me on social media, Kyle Davis, ATL. Reminder yet again, don't tie your social media to the place you live because you will move at one point in time. Deals, what's your socials if anyone wants to follow you? Twitter machine. and Well, Twitter machine and Instagram is both. Well, wait. One's Tony Lucasio, one's Anthony Lucasio. Anthony so, Lucasio on Instagram. Well, if you put Danny Deals in Twitter, it's going to He's been in witness protection so many times. He's got a bunch of different names. He, he does different. have so many names. And one day he explained to me several of them. And I was like, this is confusing. <laughs> yeah, it was. He was like, what the hell is your damn name? I'm like trying to do payroll. And he's like, you know, that's, 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 that's not accurate, really. That's uh, it is, but it is. <laughs> the boat <laughs> name was this and then uh, First taping yeah. coming back from the pandemic. Our wonderful travel person who was new to the world of wrestling. She's got together now, but she booked a room for Danny Deals. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a room. I called Pat. I'm like, I'm about to drive there in an hour. I don't have a room. He could not check in because he's not Danny Deals. Yeah. And, and uh, no, it doesn't say it on his license. She fixed it, and then she she bought a program. She's like, I'm going to match names with faces. I'm going to get everything together. So now there's never been a problem since. It just that always popped me. <laughs> match <laughs> names with faces. I love that. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for being here. We appreciate all of you. Make sure you hit like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for some weird reason. But at least hit like on this video on YouTube. That lets the uh, old algorithm know that you like these live streams and you want to see more stuff like this. That also helps management know that, that you like them, too. And then that makes it look like we're valuable. It Screw is alien. Management. Screw management. It is alien. Uh, Just all right. Thanks, there. everybody, for being here. Till next week, when we have a guest, I promise. Enjoy your gravy cake. May the wings.